Alright guys, HPFC here, and welcome back to Fatal Frame 2. So let's uh, let's get the hell out of this room. Last time I was attacked by the creepy girl in the box. Alright, we'll forget over here. Let's grab this. Alright, we found some camera equipment and film. Quite the slow power-up lens. It's pretty much what it sounds like. It says the effect slows down the movement of a spirit. Spirit power required one. Upgrade it extends duration. It temporarily slows down the movement of the spirit being photographed. To use, press triangle button when you've captured, only so when you've charged one or more spirit power points. While this effect is active, the spirit will move slower and shutter chances will be longer, making the spirit easier to capture. This is especially effective against quick spirits or spirits that are difficult to time. Raising the level of this effect extends its duration. Okay. Also got something else here. We acquired the measure. So yeah, this will allow us to see the ghost HP. That's pretty good. Alright, there's a very good possibility I'm about to get attacked here. Yep, here we go. These two fellas. Okay, they're pretty easy because they're super slow. I'm sure we're creeping up behind. Let's get this guy first. He's nearest. Got a zero shot there. HP there in the corner. Oh crap. Uh oh. Off got me there. Probably not got here, just to run straight into the corner. We get a double shot there. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at all there. Right, maybe want to get out of this corner. Might be a wise idea. Let's see if we can get another zero shot. job here, am I? Uh, not getting hit right. I think that's one of them taken out. There we go. Okay. That's those guys dealt with. So, um, let's listen to this. We got this uh, moonstone last time off the uh, woman in the box. Darkness is coming, was that? What is this, Silent Hill? Keep an eye out for a guy with a pyramid for an head. Anyway, let's, uh... Let's go in here. And as you can see, the filament is glowing blue. We have got a hidden ghost in here. So, yeah, um... Your hidden, your, your hidden ghosts are blue. Uh, same for the vanishing ghost as well, I think, and the attacking ghost, that with the orange colour. I can't remember if I explained that or not. But anyway, it's right here. There we go. Frozen woman. 
Right, uh, what am I like for points? Um, that right there, that's the um, the measure. Oops, a quote right there. Uh, oh yeah, okay, let's um, let's do sensitivity. Let's smash a stone in there. And there we go, okay, that's level one. And that's the uh, slow power up we've got there as well. Okay, that should do for now. All right, there's nothing else in here, so let's uh, let's head back out. Just me, or is there a face on that wall? Has that always been there? Has that just suddenly appeared, or am I just seeing things? Mm. I think there's a face on the wall. Of course, there is. Yeah, come on. There's a face on the friggin' wall. It's watching me. And it just disappeared. Oh, this game is creepy as shit. <laughs> really. I really don't think there's any other horror games that can touch this, really. Oh, here we go. Another vanishing ghost there, woman on deck. She just seems to kind of stay there, though. And your thing doesn't glow blue, and you don't get any points for that one, but... it's one you can add to the collection. Yeah, she doesn't appear if you get closer. We're gonna get it from the back. A little further back. Yeah, what have we got here? Village Report 1. For some reason, one of the statues is in the form of twins. I have also found a description of a twin deity statue in the writings lying around the house. Village Report 2. I looked down to the old well. But it was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can only hear wind blowing, and it seems that the water is all dried up. I can't tell. Number three. I found a small shrine in the top of a long set of stairs, shrouded in mist. It seems very old, but it is well made and has not fallen into disrepair. The entrance has a large butterfly. And the fourth. I came to this hill to take a look at the gate I had passed through when I entered the village, but when I tried to find it... And, and that's it. Yeah, she's still there. You don't seem to be able to snap her if you're further back. Well, anyway... Let's head back. Any more faces on the wall? No. Alright. Let's see if we can get out of here now. Yes, we can. What have we got here? Mayu's charm. Okay, so we can listen, uh, listen to this on the radio.
to make out, but did you say it's it's calling me or something like that? But we will be able to check that um, throughout the game for uh, to hear different thoughts, I guess. All right, let's get out of this place finally. Okay, we're outside again. Quickly, we'll just go over here to the statue. Get some more Type 14 film there. Snag that. Right, so let's go the way uh, Mayu went when she was uh, following the butterflies, which was this way, weren't it? Alright, we've got a vanishing ghost here. And it's arguably the hardest one in the game. It's really freaking hard. So. I'm just gonna save state there. Alright. Get ready for it. As soon as the camera changes, there you go. Got her! Even though she's totally out of view there, I still got her. That's super hard. That, it's annoying because that's not actually worth any points, even though it's probably the hardest one. You get zero points for it, which is a massive middle finger in my opinion. But it's really difficult to capture that because... The camera changes... I would just back up a little bit. Yeah, because the camera changes as you're going around, and you're trying to get around the corner. So it's not changing that exact way now because she's already gone. But you find yourself running to the corner of this when you're trying to get round, because as the camera changes, you know it sort of messes with the controls. You need to run forward enough to be able to be close enough to get her, but it you know, obviously she's constantly moving. So half the time, you won't have got there quick enough, and it won't get it, or you'll be too far away. You've it's a hard one to get, but as you can see you can still get her when she's not even in view. So that's a tough one. That's taken me many times in the past. I got I got pretty lucky there, but uh, happy about that one. Well, anyway, let's um, let's keep moving. See where she went. It's freaking dark as shit down here. Just the one shot there. To get this guy is a little trickier. Come on. Come on. Didn't see, was that a zero shot? Yeah, but he goes for a big swing there, so make sure you're out of the way, although he does the swing it very slow, so you got plenty of time. Oh crap. Caught me there. Tell you what, let's not take any risks. See you up there. That wasn't a zero. 
zero shot, but... See, the other time I was too late, that time I was too early. But anyway, this next shot will finish him off. Come on, buddy. Again, might be too early there. But don't matter, I got him. Good night. Okay. Alright, yeah, now right in front of this tree we'll have some more herbal medicine. And there should be some more over here at this uh, lantern. There we go. Alright, let's take a shot of this door right here. Can see something's uh, sealing it, it seems. Butterflies. Crimson butterflies. Let me actually have a look at the door here. Attempt to get through it. It says the gate is stuck fast. There are ornaments on the left and right doors depicting two people. There's a slot in each of the ornaments for inserting a flat square key. So it needs two keys, I gather. So we ain't go uh, we ain't getting through that uh, door right now, so let's just uh, let's head back. Follow him. What's the worst that could happen? See uh, the film that's glowing again. We've got another hidden ghost. Should be right here on this building. The frozen man. See, so, yeah, that's uh, on this building right here. Opposite the uh, the house that we were in before. Flies and they've disappeared. I forgot to hear. And it's locked. And now we go around here. We've got a well. The same well that was mentioned in the notes we read previously. A rundown well. There is no water left in it, and a faint wind blows up from its dark depths. That very much sounds like the same well being described in that uh, journal. The surveyor must have been here, near the well. There is a piece of a note. Well, there you go, there's report number two. It seems to be a continuation of the surveyor's notes that you found earlier. I looked down into the old well, but it was pitch black and I couldn't see a thing. If you listen closely, you can only hear wind blowing and it seems that the water is all dried up. I can't tell which was here first, the house or the well. Neither has been used in a while. According to the records, this house used to belong to the powerful Tsuchihara family. Probably butchered that, but oh well. In this village, the Osaka, Kiryu, and Tachibana families were also influential. Each house had its own crest and held power in the village. As a group, they were also in charge of a special ritual. Each was a branch of the Kurosawa family, who administered to the ceremony. They performed the role of priests. The Kurosawa name is scattered throughout the literature, but no concrete information is written. I have no doubt that they have absolute power though. Where in the world did the villagers go, and how do you get out of this village? The answers to these questions lie within the Kurosawa house. I'm not sure I know, but I have a strong feeling about this. Okay. Right, get ready for another uh, vanishing ghost right here. Step away from the well. Boom! Cool, 
turn around to snap the well checker. All right. And perfect timing, we're going to save Lantern right here. So that's going to do it for this part, guys. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.